How to import data from CAD to eSurvey CAD section module. Welcome to video tutorial on how to import cross section levels from CAD drawing to eSurvey CAD. This process involves five easy steps A. Mark changes along the alignment, B. Create offset lines and move entities to specific layers, C. Interpolate the values, D. Export values from CAD drawing, E. Import values in eSurvey CAD. A. Mark changes along the alignment. MCH. In road, railway, and canal projects, cross sections are created at fixed distances, say 30 meters, and the area computation is done in these cross sections, and then the volume is computed depending on the area. Normally, survey is also done at those fixed distances only. However, it is not possible to exactly survey on the points at those distances and their respective offsets. Using eSurvey CAD interpolation module, interpolating the values is easy. Type MCH mark changes at the command prompts. A window will appear expecting inputs like prefix, suffix, starting change, increment, etc. Please specify cross section interval in increment and cross section line length as per the project requirement. Click on OK and then select the alignment. You may note that program will create cross section lines that is changes along the alignment. Depending on the input values, label indicating the cross section value is also marked. B. Create offset lines and move entities to specific layers. For interpolating multiple values, eSurvey CAD expects layerization of text and lines. All the cross section lines need to be in CS layer. Central line, that is alignment line, needs to be in LS layer. You can offset the center line on either side depending on offsets at which you want to interpolate the values. In this example, you can note that the center line is offset at distances 2, 4, 7 and 10 on either side. These offset lines have to be present in offset layer. Elevation text representing the surface should be in elev layer. Once the text and lines are in ls, elev, offset and elev layer, you are ready to interpolate values in bulk. C. Interpolate the values. Interpolation along the alignment can be done with iti or idi command. To interpolate the values with ITI command, elevation needs to be in elev layer and eSurvey CAD will interpolate the values at all the intersections of the cross section line with an offset and longitudinal section layer. It is advisable that only the levels to be considered for interpolation shall be in the elev layer. In case of IDI command, longitudinal section and offset lines need to be 3D lines and IDI command will interpolate at the intersection points of all the longitudinal section and offset lines. You may note that all the interpolated values will get created in a layer named layer 1. In case of ITI command, if the intersection point is outside the surface created using the levels in elev layers, software will create the levels in layer named layer 2, which will help you to make out that levels interpolated are outside the imaginary boundary defined by elevation points. Once you verify those values, if you decide to use those values, move it to layer, layer 1. D. Export values from CAD drawing. Interpolated values need to be exported to eSurvey CAD using CSA command. When you give CSA command, CAD will ask you a factor called box width. Specify 0.5 and select the cross-section lines for which you want to export the values. If you want to export all the data, type all at the command prompt. CSA command will scan the drawing and export the interpolated values to a temporary location. E. Import values in eSurvey CAD. Data exported from CAD will be in temporary location. Open eSurvey CAD. Create a new file and click on CAD import button from the toolbar and click on import button to import the levels from CAD. You may note that 
all the cross section levels are imported from CAD and respective cross sections are being displayed in eSurvey CAD. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit www.eSurveying.net to learn the software in detail.